Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be giving you a haul on what I got from TJ Maxx. I posted on my Instagram last week that I was at TJ Maxx. I was so excited. As you know, if you've been following me, we kind of rearranged our house and so I was needing some decorations really bad. So they opened last Thursday and I went on Friday and so I wanted to show you guys what I got. It's mostly all home decor because that's what I was needing. So if that interests you, then stay tuned for everything that I have to show you. But first I wanted to let you know if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. It's free and it just helps out my channel and it also has you be a part of my YouTube family and I'd love for you to be a part of it. And if you want to get notified for future uploads, then hit that bell as well. And every time I upload, it will notify you that a new video is up. Let's get into this TJ Maxx so, haul. When I went, there were so many red tags. Like it was crazy. And considering that I went for the second day that it was open, I could not believe the amount of red tags that there were. I think almost everything I got was red tagged. And that was like jackpot, I felt like. Um, the store was fully packed with tons of items. It wasn't very busy. I had to wait outside maybe two minutes to be able to go in. Everything was really organized. I didn't feel scared. I didn't feel like uncomfortable at all. There was a ton of Easter decor. So if you're needing Easter stuff, check out your local TJ Maxx because it was 75% off all Easter decor. So if you're looking for Easter decorations, go hit up the store. But like I said, there were a ton of red tags and you just had to look for them because the shelves were fully stocked. So first I got, this was one red tag. Um, it's a little Ray Dunn clock. After I'm done showing you everything, I'm gonna take you along to show you how I decorate. Hopefully I can figure it out because I need to put this stuff up where it goes and hopefully make it look nice. Um, so this is a Ray Dunn clock. It is battery powered. It doesn't have any batteries on it, but this was a red tag for $5. I don't know what the original price is because the red tag is in front of it, but <clears throat> originally 18, like probably full price, 18, and then TJ Maxx had a price and then red tag was five. So cute little clock for $5. I got this hourglass, super cute. I just thought it was a nice little like decoration. It probably won't serve a purpose for anything, but it was really cute. And I'm trying to remember the price on this. I have my receipt here. I want to say it was $5 as well. Super cheap because I wouldn't have spent very much more on this considering it's just a small decorative item. Um, and then I had to hit up the candle section, got a cute little candle, guava blossom. Um, it was originally 12 and it was red tagged for 10 and it smells so good. Like the perfect summer scent, so refreshing and so, so good. Um, and then I also wanted a lot of plants because my rooms don't have very many plants and I'm wanting to bring more green into my home. So I got this, unfortunately I was not red tagged and I really wanted it to be. So I wanted two, but I was not gonna spend that much money for two, so I got one. It was $12, but I think it's super cute. It's kind of like that rustic farmhouse look and I can totally decorate with this, like it's really cute. So this is two different items, this greenery and then the pot, but I put the greenery in the pot. The greenery was red tagged. I don't remember how much it was. Let me check and see if I can find it. No, I think it was $3. I think on there it showed $3. So the greenery, greenery was $3 and I believe this was eight. So it's a cute, looks so cute with this greenery. I loved it. I was kind of disappointed because I didn't see much just loose plants. I came across this one. It was the only one. It was bundled like this already and I figured it'd look really cute in here. So those are two items. And then these were all each individual items, but I got them as a set. So there's like a big jar, a medium jar, and a small jar. And those little things in the middle are for like little candles. Um, like I said, you had to buy them separately. So I think this was like, they were all red tagged. So I think this was eight, the medium one was five, and the small one was three. 
So that's a really good deal for these three things. I feel like when you get clusters like that, it's really easy to use them in bigger spaces because you can kind of spread them out and arrange them as you would like. And then I also got this. I don't even know what it is, but it's really cute and it's a Magnolia home item. So I thought it was super adorable. It was also reg tagged for $10. I forget what the original price was. Um, so I'm gonna use that as decoration. And then I got these two plants, which were also red tagged. They were $5, originally $6.99. I guess my dog wanted to make his appearance today. <laughs> but these two little plants, I like that they're similar, but they're also different. So you can kind of use them together, but also make it not symmetrical or not the same. So I really like that about these. They were the only two that were $5 which were red tagged. For some reason, you could find the exact same thing and have it not be red tagged and then something else and have it be red tagged. So you gotta just dig through stuff and find it. I don't know what the reasoning was behind being some things being red tagged and some things not, even if they're the exact same item. So I really dug around and looked for both of these which were red tagged. And then I got one of those big circle mirrors, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, it's already up on the wall. But I had been looking for one for a long time and I think I had found one at Target and it was like $100. Um, this one, it's huge, it's big, and it was $40. So I was like, oh, I gotta get it because that's such a good price. I haven't seen that price um, of that size mirror. So I had to get it. I might go back and get another one because I'm loving the circle mirrors. And then the last item I got was this linen shower curtain. I don't know if you guys have seen, but it seems like these linen shower curtains are like the thing now. Get rid of the plastic shower curtain liners and get the fabric ones because you can wash them and they don't get all gross and grimy and water spot stained like the plastic ones. So I plan on changing the one out in my guest room or my guest bathroom and using this one. So I'll show you, I'll put it on, I'll take you guys along with me and put it on and show you what it looks like. It's super soft, it's super nice and I'm interested to see how it's gonna work with water. It says that water glides right off of it. So we'll see how that works. But I'm gonna show you my mirror and then also take you along on trying to decorate this stuff I'm gonna put it up, see how it looks. I might leave it there for a day or two and then change it, who knows, we'll see. I do wanna go back to TJ Maxx to get some more stuff, so things might just always be changing depending on what I get or how I'm feeling that day, but let's go along and put all this stuff up. Okay, so here is my entryway table. It has a few decorations that we've already had, but here is that big, beautiful gold mirror. I am totally loving it. And like I said, it was only $40 and it's a fairly good size. You'll see once I start putting decorations up how good it will look. It looks a little high right now, but I think once I organize everything onto that table, it will look really, really nice. Every day I'm looking for a way to return to the town when everything was easy to learn. Don't know when it started to get so serious building up in a okay so i'm kind of loving how this looks it's simple but i just don't know if that looks too big right there i had the candle there and then i took it off so let me i have a few items that i haven't used like a big wire bird cage so i might try that and just see what happens, but I'm kind of liking this setup, but just the candle instead of that Magnolia home piece. it has three things on one side so it has these three items and then a plant in the middle and then those three items 
I want to see how it looks with the bigger plant right there. So I'm going to switch that out and just see, but I have a feeling I'm going to leave it as is. Let's see if I can get the whole view for you guys. I love how that mirror looks right there. It looks so good, but I think I need something with more height on this table. So I'm going to try that bigger plant there right now. Gotta be strong. I think I like it this way better. You guys let me know down in the comments below, but I think this plant right here gives it some height. And so I think that really makes the table look a lot better. Here it is with the mirror. But then again, I'm not the best decorator. So you guys let me know down in the comments what you think. the new little shelving unit that we got in our front room and so here is how I arranged the decorations I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there because I feel like it just doesn't go um, but it kind of takes up space for right now but I'm kind of liking how the top looks everything's not in like a line but it's still symmetrical so let me know what you guys think about that arrangement or if you think I should do it another way I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because I like how it looks and I don't really know how else to arrange it but if you guys have any other ideas let me know down in the comments and now I want to take you over to the bar area to try and decorate that with what I have left plant there since I only have one I feel like in the center is probably the best so that it's even and then just splitting up the alcohol and then having the two candles on each side I'm not 100% loving it but I feel like it will do for now until I can get back to TJ Maxx to maybe find something else but I feel like we have too many alcohol bottles up there but my husband insists on keeping them so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this bar area shower curtain liner show it to you so nice so much better than those plastic ones it's aesthetically appealing and I think it's gonna work better because hopefully it won't get the water spots like the other one does um, but there you have it I mean obviously you can't see it but I think it looks nice on the inside and hopefully won't get as dirty. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for my TJ Maxx haul and decorate with me. There were a few items that I didn't use, so I didn't end up using this Magnolia thing, whatever it is. Um, I do have an idea for it, but the place I want it is on my coffee table. Like there's one coffee table and the other one's over here. However, I don't have any plants small enough to go on that table with this. I was gonna do this and this bird cage but i don't have a plant to go with it so i'm gonna leave it as it is for now and put these two items aside and wait to go back to tj maxx to get some more plants because they had a great selection of plants but now that i know what i want i know what to get so 
that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like. And once again, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free and it will have you become a part of my YouTube family. And I'd love to have you. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.